Well, here in Michigan, a state law from the 1930s, overruled decades ago by the Roe v. Wade decision, could soon become law again. Darylin Horn is here for now with a closer look. Darylin. Lauren, it is such a polarizing issue. For 49 years, Roe v. Wade has given women the right to choose. But before we tell you what it could mean, we have to look at where we've been. Back in 1931, state laws banned many things, including adultery, not fully singing the Star Spangled Banner, and abortion. That law states it is illegal for anyone to cause a miscarriage or terminate a pregnancy using medicine, drugs, or tools. May Kirkendall, law professor at Michigan State University, says if abortions are banned, many, many women will be forced to make desperate decisions. Few women will learn, hey, here's a safe way you can do it yourself, but a lot of women will get terrible advice and they will get very sick and some of them will die. Others, if they go to term, will die in childbirth because we have a mortality rate. If you pass a law that you know will kill women, and that's just a fact, it cannot be denied. Now, Kirk Kendall says it will be very important for voters to get to the polls this November and a state vote on abortion could be on the ballot if a petition drive gets enough signatures. Lauren, back to you.